So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what I have here is the all new 2024 Chevrolet Trax RS. So there are two variants of the all new Chevrolet Trax here in the Philippines. So let's start off here with the usual top of the line model first. So I'd like to thank everyone here at Chevy Makati and to Ma'am Jen to share our contact details. So hopefully you guys can pass you and check out all the latest Chevrolet models here, including the all new Trax. You get a lot of gloss black here on the grill, and as well you get a black bow tie here along with your red RS badge and. I love this black bow tie. So with the red line middle van which I'll cover soon later it also has a black bow tie but I am not sure though with the base model so hopefully I can cover that base model of course you know me I'm a sucker for base models and I might talk about more with that base model coming soon if there's already on display here anyways back here to the design you get LED lights all round ground clearance is 186 millimeters which is actually a little bit more than the trailblazer so check out my review here that was my first review here as well in Chevrolet Makati so here on the side profile you get more gloss black here around the side mirrors as well you have led repeaters a lot of cladding too here on the side but i don't mind it it kind of suits these trucks anyways as well you get 18 inch wheels with yet again black bow ties in the center caps good year assurance tires surprisingly they're not like some chinese or korean tires so you get a gloss black roof over here sunroof i'll talk about more the sunroof when we get to the interior the rear too you get led tail lights a black tax badge over here black chevrolet bow tie yet again and a red RS badge here. You have a black bumper too as well. The boot space is pretty generous, more or less around 500 liters and then if you fold all of the seats down, the total space is 1,405 liters which is pretty decent and among the most spacious crossover, Chevrolet crossovers here in the lineup. So powering this all new Chevrolet trucks, Okay. Several days later. So this one is powered by a 1.2 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine that produces 137 horsepower and 220 newton meters of torque. Okay. So these are the figures of the Trailblazer. So I expected, of course, with the price, we'll get to that later on in the video. I expected this to have more or less the same power with the Trailblazer. Actually, I'll be honest, I wanted a little bit more power than the Trailblazer, knowing this is the same engine than that of, yet again, the Trailblazer. This I find very weird. However, though, comparing with the Trailblazer, this one is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission, which is actually the same like in the Chevrolet Tracker. That is still my favorite Chevrolet crossover, by the way. Hopefully, we can test drive one of these very soon. And like with all of the Chevrolet crossovers, you have a massive heat shield just behind. That's about it with the exterior, the boot, and the engine of the Chevrolet trucks. Let's check out the interior. So, this is the interior of the all-new Chevrolet trucks. So being made in Korea, like my case with the Chevrolet Trailblazer, the door tods are pretty solid. So starting here off with the door card, actually pretty good. Of course, this one is plastic, but the rest here you have leather with red stitching. For your elbows, it's a little bit of a squeegee type of material. It's not totally plastic. You have cubby spaces and bottle holders on each side of the door. My water jug doesn't go all the way in, but it holds it in place. So I'll give that a half pass. And here on the driver side of the door, you have for your tailgate button along with the height adjustment. Very similar like with the trailblazer. And then there's more gloss black materials here. And speaking of gloss black materials, here overall in the interior, I mean it looks nice. It feels like every other Chevrolet but yet there's a lot of gloss black here. But you won't be touching some of them here like in the dashboard. I mean here in the air conditioning vents that stretches all the way to the right passenger side yeah there's a lot of gloss black and as well there's like red accents there too and along with an rs badge right over there i just saw that now what i like too with these trucks are the air conditioning vents they look like airplane style but yet again there's a lot of red accents all around and then here on the left side of the dashboard adjusting for the brightness of the instrument cluster and then your headlight level adjustments and yet again like with the trailblazer i think as well like with the tracker there's no what extra storage here on the left side so here the steering wheel looks exactly the same like with the other chevrolet crossovers that i mentioned yet again more gloss black here but yet again with the red stitching and somewhat leather type of material okay feels nice to the touch you have cruise control 
buttons here on the left side and then on the right side you have buttons for your phone connectivity and then over there you have an 8 inch digital instrument cluster uh, okay I'll admit since I'm very new with this car I know I don't know how to adjust anything whatsoever for the instrument cluster I mean if it's just like that I, I don't mind it so here now in your 11 inch infotainment system overall the infotainment system okay it's all right but when i press there's a little bit like a delay and scrolling from left to right or up and down yeah yet again there's a bit of a delay i would say the infotainment system so so and then the left side of the infotainment system you have your volume adjustment there and for turning off as well the music and as well like the tail blazer you have buttons here behind the steering wheel so on the right side is for your volume adjustments yet again i had no idea what this left side does Maybe when I get to test the one of these, I'll, I'll know soon. Below the infotainment system, you have two air conditioning vents. And then you have your air conditioning controls. And then further down below, you have one USB port, one USB-C port, a 12 volt socket. And a wireless charging pad. Perfectly fits my phone. And then glove box. Alright, that's good. And then here in the center console itself, yeah, there's a lot of gloss black yet again. And then for your gear shift, your plus minus, for your manual modes here on the left side, they're just buttons. And there's a nice touch of an RS logo on the gear shift too. You have your electronic parking brake too. And then two more buttons in front for your lane departure warning and for your auto hold function. You have two cup holders yet again. My big water jug fits. And then further behind, you have extra storage for your keys. And yet again, if you want to put your phone. And then further behind, you have your center console box. Okay, it's pretty decent. And then above here, you have your halogen lights, adjustments for your sunroof. However, though, this is probably one of the smallest sunroofs I've ever encountered. But hey, at least there still is. And then visor, you have a vanity mirror only. It's wide too. Ah, oh, remember only American Chevrolets have uh, sun visor extensions. Unique too with this top of the line Trax RS model are these perforated seats. There's red accents and then red stitching too. Apologies, this one's covered in plastic because all of the Trax models here are literally fresh units. It even says in the odometer 10 kilometers only. So, yeah, that's about it here in front of the Chevrolet Trax. Let's go to the rear seats. So, here now in the rear seats of this Chevrolet Trax. Immediately sitting here in the back, okay, this is where this tracks trumps over the tailblazer. Knee room and feet room is excellent. However, though, my headroom, I have enough space for my head, but I wish it could be a little bit more. I mean, I'm 5'4", but look at that. So, I think around 6 foot people might tend to struggle here in the back, but I think they'll just fit anyways. So, here now the door card. Okay, little bit of an honest bummer here. Everything here is plastic. There's no, like leather here or squeegee material to like the front doors and then you get two cup holders two on each side only okay my water jug doesn't go all the way in yet again however at least it holds it in place and then here you only have one map pocket right behind the front right passenger seat and then in the middle you have one USB-C port and a USB port and then two air conditioning vents no adjustments though so I assume everything has to be done there right in front and like what I said in front too unique to this Trax RS top of the line model are these perforated leather seats it still continues the red accent and red stitching all around it and then here you have a very wide central armrest there's little grips inside it fits my big water jug too and then if I sit here in the middle Okay, a little bit harder than the left and right side of the seats, but it's alright too. Unique to these trucks too, there is no transmission tunnel whatsoever. So, okay, this is one of the few crossovers that I know that does not have a transmission tunnel whatsoever. And I just saw now, like with the tracker and trailblazer, you have that weird seat belt layout. But, again, it's just something I noticed only. And above here, you have halogen lights. And, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, the cost for all of this Chevrolet Trax RS top of the line model is at 1,048,888 yen. God dang it. <laughs> Sorry. So, the all new Chevrolet Trax cost 1,948,888 pesos. Phew. Okay, got it. Alright, alright. 
I know what everyone saying to everyone who did a walk around review, all the comments here and there. Yeah, I kinda agree to the price is a little bit steep, but it's closer to the 2 million peso mark. However, I will not give my full verdict yet if this is worth it or not. Because like what I said I, almost a year ago when I reviewed both Trailblazer variants, yes, their prices too are a little bit more steep than its usual competitors. However, I did enjoy driving the Trailblazers among one of the better crossovers I've driven to. So I wanna save my thoughts and verdict on these trucks until I get to test drive one of these. So we'll leave on that cliffhanger. I'd like to thank everyone here again at Chevrolet Makati and to Ma'am Jen. And hopefully you guys can check out this all new Chevrolet trucks too. So hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with more Chevrolet reviews coming right up. Bye-bye.